Okay. Well, y'all, thank you for coming. <clears throat> this is this is a happy happy moment for us in South Carolina. We're, we're doing something that I I don't know of another place where where this has been done. But we all know that a a healthy, happy population is necessary for prosperity. If we can have people working and be happy and healthy and educated, then there's no limit to what we can do in South Carolina with the institutions we've built over the years, uh, the technologies that are available, and our people. It's our people that all of the business leaders from around the world speaking in different languages say it's the people of South Carolina that uh, in whom they want to invest their hundreds of millions and billions of dollars to make the things, whether it's uh, tires, automobiles, or whatever it is, airplanes, uh, they want to come to South Carolina. So if we can keep our people healthy, then that takes us a long way down that road towards prosperity. And to, today, we're announcing another big step towards that healthy population. It's sometimes it's hard to go to the doctor. It's hard to go to the emergency facility. It's, People don't have time. Sometimes the tires are flat. Sometimes the gas is, there's no gas in the car. The car won't crank. Uh, the children, there are too many children. You can't leave. Nobody can take care of the children. You just, you don't have time. So this is a time saver. It's opening the door. This is unleashing the power of the institutions, one of which we have here in South Carolina. That's the Medical University of South Carolina and the innovation that this represents. This is taking health care, taking the doctor to the people, taking health care to the people. It's as close as your telephone. And as will be described in a moment, the innovation here through Dr. O'Brien of Florence, whose father was a prominent physician in the PD, uh, and the, those people that you see here who will speak in a moment, we have a, a the technological ability for the doctor, the nurse, for health care advice and guidance to be as close as your telephone, anyone's telephone, their cell phone, or their computer at no cost to that person. So, Dr. Dave Cole, president of MUSC. Dr. Cole. Thank you, Governor. Very excited to be here today. Thank you for your steadfast support of MUSC and, and our mission together for the state of South Carolina. Your leadership, the legislative leadership and support has enabled us to build a telehealth capability which makes a difference for the patients and people of the state of South Carolina. I would like to take a moment to say a couple words before I turn it over to Dr. Colley, who will give you more details about the actual platform and what that really means. MUSC's vision, leading health innovation for the lives we touch. It's not merely about providing excellent health care. For us, it's about educating the future. For us, it's about changing the future for our patients through innovation. That's what today is about. In healthcare, access and costs are a major issue, both in South Carolina and across the nation. This platform allows state employees to have almost immediate free access to healthcare from anywhere. We're excited and honored to have the opportunity to partner with PIVA to make sure that this moves forward. And we're also excited to have the opportunity to continue to make a difference in terms of rural health care within this state. One final point, I want to take a moment to thank the many members of the MUSC telehealth team. They're doing awesome work, working to make a difference. MUSC is one of two centers of excellence in the nation for telehealth. That represents a lot of work, and this is just one example of that. So we're excited for the future. I'll turn it over to Dr. Colley. Pat Collier, CEO. Doctor. Thank you, Dr. Cole. Thank you. Thank you, Governor. I'd like to echo Dr. Cole's gratitude to Governor McMaster and the state legislature in supporting our telehealth efforts. These telehealth efforts and reach out started around six or seven years ago and would only have been possible with the state uh, helping us. But let me, let me probe this a little bit deeper. We're talking at a very high level. I want to I wanna bring it down to a story. I want to help you understand what this is. So let me tell you the story about Miss Green, who's a South Carolina uh, state employee who's covered under the PIBA plan. She's a single mother of two children. As she gets in her car to go to work this morning, she notices a rash on her arm. She thinks no big deal. 
It'll probably go away. It doesn't hurt. She's got work to do. She's got some things at work she's responsible for. She also has to be at the, at the school carpool later. She just sort of doesn't think about it. But over the course of the day, the rash worsens. She doesn't get off to work till five o'clock. By that time, the doctor's office is closed and she didn't want to miss work that day anyway. As the evening goes on, she also thinks about, hmm, should I go to the emergency room? But she's also thinking about her tight budget. She didn't want to spend the time in the emergency room. She didn't want to spend the money in the emergency room because she still felt it was going to get better. As the evening continues, it actually gets worse. And by late that night, she has to go to the emergency room. Let me tell you what would happen if she had access through telehealth earlier in the day. So earlier in the day, she could have used her phone and she could have gotten that access very quickly. Within, within, picking up, within minutes of picking up her phone, she gets access, free access to the MUSC Virtual Urgent Care Online. During her lunch break, she actually was, she goes out and she picks up some medication that was called in for her through the virtual urgent care uh, platform. And by mid-afternoon, she's already on her antibiotics. Her rash doesn't get worse. She never has to go to the emergency room. She still gets the carpool. She still picks the kids up and she overall has a good day. That's what virtual urgent care, that's what this system uh, will do for the patients in South Carolina who access this. This is reachable through not only computers uh, like a smartphone, but you can use a tablet, you can use a desktop computer. Uh, it's 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. This platform was developed under the direction of Dr. Ed O'Brien, who's here today, who will show you the platform uh, if you would like to do that. This platform connects MUSC expertise with patients in the comfort of their homes, workplaces, or wherever they are on the go. It removes barriers to earlier and better care, as pointed out by uh, Governor McMaster. Patients can access care in the way they like best, including online questionnaires, phone calls, video visits, text, and you can actually choose your pharmacy. You know, it could be the one near you, it could be one where you're going to. Wait times to speak with the provider average about four minutes on the system, and most visits take less than 15 minutes to complete. No appointment is necessary with the doctor, unless the virtual urgent care provider feels you need to be seen by a doctor, and at that point they'll facilitate you getting to your primary care doctor or emergency room or somewhere else uh, that they feel is necessary. This platform is secure. It is HIPAA compliant. That means that it's, it's private. No one else can get into that platform. It exists on mobile as well as de desktop. There's even a hotline for concerns that's available 24 seven. So it's a robust patient and family centered platform that would only have been possible with the investment made by the state over the last several years. At MUSC Health, we know how hard it is to take time away from work to address urgent healthcare issues and when care is hard to access and it takes too long and it's too expensive and this is a solution for all of that. So thank you Dr. Cole, thank you Governor McMaster and Lieutenant Governor, thank you for your support, thank you PIBA for, for allowing us to use this platform for the entire state of South Carolina employees. It's going to be a great system and we look forward to working with the state and further uh, rolling this out. Thank you. Thank you. And Ms. Peg Boykin, who is in charge of the Pope South Carolina Public Employee Benefits Association. Thank PIBA. you, Governor. Um, PIBA covers roughly 10% of the state's population. And one of our core missions is to provide accessible and affordable health care to all of the state's public employees and their families. This partnership with MUSC is a vital piece of that component. And I want to thank the governor and MUSC and the General Assembly for making this benefit available to our employees. On behalf of all public employees across the state, we thank you for this benefit. It will make a difference in the lives of each of those individuals. And I'm happy to take any questions later. Thank you. I got to tell this story, uh, Dr. Cawley reminded me about a year or so ago, 
I knew I was as governor. You ride in the car. You don't drive anymore. You ride. So I was riding along, and I had a little pimple on my eyelid, a little red spot. I didn't know what it was. So I picked up my cell phone. I told Dr. O'Brien this, and I called Dr. Gary Coher. He's in Columbia. He's my uh, eye doctor. I, the lady said, "Well, he's he's right here. Would you like to speak to him?" I said, "Sure." I was calling for an appointment. And I explained it to him, and he said, well, let me see it. So I punched on the FaceTime thing and put it up. He says, oh, that's nothing. That's uh, something he just got. I said, where's your pharmacy? I told him the number. He called in. He said, pick it up, put it on, it'll be gone in a day or two. So I did. The whole thing took about two minutes. And we were, sometime after that, I read in the newspaper about MUSC and Dr. O'Brien working on such a thing. So we went by and to see Dr. O'Brien, and lo and behold, they were way ahead of everyone's thinking. And this is, this is the result of that innovative approach, and this will make an enormous difference to the, the people of our state. So uh, the MUSC, again, has done a great service uh, for the people. We have great businesses, we have great institutions here, and this is a, another big step forward, a big happy step forward one more way for the people to stay healthy in South Carolina. Does the Lieutenant Governor have anything to add? No, I think you guys all summed it up. I just, as a mom, uh, this, I wish this was around when my kids were little <laughs> and you had them sick and you're trying to get them somewhere and you know exactly what's the matter with them. But I did remember your story because you've told, you've told that a lot. So I think uh, the Governor was far ahead of himself, light years ahead. He knew this would be a, a great thing for the state and it really is. So. MUSC, thank you. Um, you're just a, you're a, you're a, a jewel in our crown here in South Carolina. And everywhere I go, um, companies in the life science world, they come here because of the great research you do and the great accomplishments you make thank in the you. state. So thank you. Thank you for all you've done. Any questions? How many caregivers are on staff at a certain, a certain time, like during the day? Who? You don't answer that. Dr. O'Brien? Uh, we have a full staff of ER staff. So sure. Uh, so we have, a, it's fully staffed by, oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, it's fully staffed by our MUSC emergency department team. Uh, so we have several providers on at all times, day and night. Uh, we have a large call pool as well to service higher volumes. Well, there are a lot of people out there who could use this service, uh, and we are, ho we are hopeful that we can expand it to everyone in the state through various ways. But there, we also, there, there are institutions here and there, there, that provide uh, these services. There are a number of uh, companies that you can go online to. But uh, this, this is a big step forward. We, we're looking forward to the day in South Carolina where people avoid illness and avoid sickness and have good health. Good health is, should be defined not by how many people we can cure once they have a develop a problem, but how many people don't develop problems. We need to nip things in the bud. And this is a, this, Telehealth all across the country and around the world is something that will 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 do that because that makes what it does it, it makes the doctor as close as your telephone. The doctor comes to you. You don't go to the doctor. Saves time, saves energy. You can do it on your lunch break. You can do it early in the morning. It's been said you can do it in the middle of the night. Just pick up that phone and call them, and you got your. Your doctor and nurse or physician's assistant right there to give you the help and advice and guidance you need. Yes, sir. When will the service begin? What, what is your start date? Is that a uh, this started actually January 1st. Oh, okay. So we've already had, we've been doing a little bit of light marketing. Uh, we'll actually pick that up in the next couple of weeks. But even with that light marketing, we've seen, uh, uh, we've seen many PIBA members already already using it with, with pretty high satisfaction uh, as well, which is what we already knew in the system we run, but the uh, PIBA team has been using it and, and getting the same outcomes. 
I might just add a couple things. I think MUSC, and I don't want to misspeak for Dr. Colley, we're prepared to provide whatever is needed to meet the needs in terms of providers. And we're already uh, anticipating scaling up. I think one point on the uh, televirtual platform, um, you can be anywhere in the nation, anywhere in the world, and utilize this. This actually geolocates the pharmacy where you are. So if you're on a business trip in Seattle and you have a bronchitis and you dial up your doctor via the phone, you can pick up your prescription in the downtown CVS in Seattle. That's powerful when you talk about getting an integrated sort of capability to get the care you need now. So I just thought it would be appropriate to point that out. Thanks. That's innovative, isn't it? Any more questions? We will go into the next room and have a demonstration of this innovation. Thank you.